marketing being one of the biggest buzzwords in technology right now, I'm pretty thrilled that we're actually out in Kempton Park today with one of the 3D gurus of our town. Now, Hans, I know that aside from this lawnmower being the rock star of the lawn, it's also becoming the talk of the town. Very much so. It's amazing the effect on the internet. <laughs> it's, it's really, really taken off. <laughs> So you're not only doing 3D printing with plastic, but also with chocolate. So you're definitely yes. a man of my heart. <laughs> so I'm going to make you Good. pause for a little while and actually take me to where all the magic happens. Of course, let's Fabulous. go. Fabulous. Ah, and so I see that you're not alone. <laughs> does Pinky have a brain or does brain have a pinky inside? <laughs> you decide that. OK. <laughs> this is Kobus van der Wolf, my business partner. Awesome right. to meet so you. So we Thanks. are partners in crime in this venture. Uh -huh. And yes, the machine. And I believe that your machine has quite a mean name, the <laughs> yes. Cheetah. Yes, great. Awesome. Why the Cheetah? So fast. So fast. OK, yes. awesome. So, I mean, you guys are printing everything from plastic to chocolate and also... Cement. Cement. We've done cement, yes. OK. Now, Hans, you're known as the father of 3D printing <laughs> in South Africa. Now, you seem to be quite ahead of your time all those years back, but now it's really become something that's quite popular and yes, also yes. The machines are coming out, which are just under 5K, yes, that yes, is sort yes. of accessible to a lot more people. Does yes. that threaten you guys in any no, way? No, 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 no. It opens the market for mm -hmm. 3D printing. And we are not really in that market mm -hmm. because our machine is so much bigger. And we're trying to do, like the lawnmower, the vacuum cleaner, shoes, we're trying to do... Functional things. Functional, yes. that's right. Yes. What are the outright differences between an industrial 3D printer and a ready-to-use consumer version? Um, it's cost. Mm. Um, the consumer 3D printers normally use filament. Mm -hmm. looks pretty much like this and or a little bit thinner and it costs about 300 bucks a kilogram. Oh wow. And whereas we use granules, we print straight from granules, that the guys mm. that do injection molding use similar granules. So and it's more of a bulk buy? Bulk buy, yeah. it's 30 rand a kilo. Great, so actually and going bigger is cheaper. gonna be cheaper. Yeah. Yes. This is incredible. You've taken a shoe yeah. And leather coated it. Yeah. Yes. This is all started off with 3D printing. So this is actually a gentleman that uh, works next to the road and fixes shoes up for people. And we asked him just to cover it with leather and he did a beautiful job on it. Love this. Yes. Strawberry tower for you. Well, herb okay. Herb garden, what? There's yeah. one on the outside. Beautiful. And then, this is my personal favorite, oh, actually. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Now, from life size to bite size, because I know <laughs> that your chocolates are also a really hot favorite, so I think it's time to go and test them out. Of course, let's <laughs> go. Ah, oh, the sweet aroma of chocolate. My favorite place to be. <laughs> Yes, wow. with chocolates. <gasps> Incredible. Now, Hans, you've been at this for 19 years. So, again, yes. so ahead of your time. <laughs> now, the Museum of South African Design, as well as <laughs> Nestle, yes. have also been graced with your chocolate expertise and 3D printing. That's right. Um, that was a few months ago with the launch of the Android KitKat operating system. They've decided to show where technology and chocolate comes together. Collide. Collide, <laughs> and that's with 3D printing. Ten designers was called to make sculptures for a 3D chocolate printer. Mm. And I have done all those sculptures on one of my machines that was specially converted mm. for that. Right, so you slipped one in there and you actually came out tops. Yes, yes, <laughs> but um, of course I know my machines. If you don't mind, I'm going to have a little bit of a sample. I have, I have, I have a lot of them. Mm. <laughs> you can see there's quite a lot of chocolate here. Mm. Well, Hans, thank you so much for spending time with us today. You really are a man ahead of his time, so I am really excited to see what other 3D goodies you have to show us in future. They will be, and thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Well, it seems that the future of 3D printing is rather sweet. So from one awesome guru to the next, we're going to be checking in with Tony Lopes that is going to take low-tech 
high tech. But before we do, let's see what the hypertext geeks have to say.